The Glory actor Lee Do Yoon has shared an emotional story during his latest interview that made netizens burst into tears. His story is about his younger brother Dong Yuk who has an intellectual disability. He revealed that his brother often gets bullied and ridiculed because of his condition and it breaks his heart to see his brother suffer. He made it one of his life goal to take care of his brother because in the past, he admitted that he was embarrassed to have a brother with an intellectual disability. Back then, he couldn't even say that he was his brother. He also revealed his guilt of not being able to personally take care of his brother and that he made his acting career as an excuse not to do so. Here is a transcript of his interview. I always get hold of myself thinking about him. He works in a market and it seems there still are people who harass and make fun of one with disabilities. Our parents are taking care of him most of the time since he has no friends. I should have been there for him but I didn't putting acting as an excuse. I am planning to spend more time with him after shooting the series I'm currently in. He just cannot lie, being with him makes me that way too, as if his pureness casts off evil in me. I'm left without lies, nothing but the truth. He is a cute, quite stubborn, loves to eat, cannot lie child. If you happen to meet him, please be kind to him, try to understand with an open heart. Lee Do Yoon is now the acting breadwinner of his family. He recently bought a big house for his family to live in. He's living there together with his parents and brother. He has pledged that he will be taking care of his brother Dong Yuk forever, not only because he cannot live on his own, but also because he loves his brother very much. The said series that Lee Do Yoon mentioned during the interview is an upcoming drama titled The Good Bad Mother and it's set to air in April 2023. The Good Bad Mother is reportedly going to be the last project of Lee Do Yoon this 2023 as he's set to enlist in the military in the first half of the year.